Okay, so once you have downloaded from GitHub, you enter to the folder, you go to packages, starter, and we're using the React, create React app starter. We copy and we paste it here. And let's call this wallet adapter. Okay, so we open the folder where is our copied React application. And while it's about the React. So here we have our package.json and we need to install the dependencies. So we open a terminal. And we npm install save to get the latest one. This And this one, call it after React and the React UI. And all the wallets. And Web3.js. And React. This one, React DOM. And web vitals. And I will wait a while to. F I will fast forward because it will take a while. Okay, so perfect. All the dependencies have been installed required for running the wallet adapter with React. So now we can run npm start and I'm also going to fast forward because it will take a while the first build. Wonderful. Now it's working. So as you can see, we have, we are connecting with the phantom wallet, so let's put our password. And we are connected, you can also disconnect or select wallet, I also have Solflare, so I can connect with Solflare. And I'm using the extension for the web browser and I am connected to Solflare. Okay, so here, as you can see, we can disconnect the wallet. We can select a wallet and we have these five wallets. So we can add more wallets from the Solana wallet adapter. As you can see, for example, let's add Ledger. Let's check if we have Ledger. We don't have Ledger. So let's add Ledger and Solet. So you go to your code. And let's add Ledger Wallet after and Solet Solet extension and Solet now now we need to initialize here Ledger new Ledger Wallet after then new so let extension 
and also new so let wallet adapter um, if we go save we compile again and if we go to our code instead of five wallets we must have now eight wallets so let's check if it's already recompiled okay. so if we select wallet now we have select extension and ledger select so wonderful in the next tutorials we are going to see how to perform transactions and communicate with the Solana RPC API.